A two-day summit between Iran and world powers in Kazakhstan has concluded with a decision to hold more talks in Istanbul. The six world powers present have offered Iran some relief from sanctions, but only if Tehran agrees to stop certain aspects of its nuclear program. Iranian negotiators met representatives from the US, UK, France, Germany, Russia and China. The West believes that Iran's nuclear program is aimed at creating a bomb, but Iran says that it's for peaceful purposes only. Saeed Jalili is Iran's chief nuclear negotiator. He's at those talks in Almaty and joins us now live. He'll be speaking, though, through a translator. Mr. Jalili, thanks for being with us. How would you describe the mood of those talks? What proposals were put to you and how did you respond to those proposals? در این گفتگوها ما شاهد بودیم این بود که اونها یک پاسخی رو به پیشنهادهایی که ما 5 8 9 ماه پیش در مسکو ارائه کرده بودیم ارائه کردن مستقیم well, uh, in the name of God the compassionate the merciful uh, what we witnessed uh, was that uh, during the last 8 months uh, they reviewed and studied what we offered and tabled in Moscow Well, we listened uh, their response, their response, their more re realistic to what they said before. And it was closer to the response of Islam, uh, the expectation of Islamic Republic of Iran. Therefore, to its own entity, we consider it a positive step. So, will Iran commit to fulfilling any of the demands of the international community concerning its nuclear program or are those demands still up for negotiation in the next round of talks? What is important is that the international community has repeatedly supported the right of Islamic Republic of Iran regarding enrichment, non-aligned movement as one as a movement which include and comp comprise the majority of Islam, the majority of international community, they participated recently in the summit, uh, the meeting of the non-aligned movement summit in Tehran, and they supported officially altogether the enrichment right of Islamic Republic of Iran, as well as its Iran right. Therefore, we believe that there is no concern for the uh, international community, and they are stressing the rights of Islamic Republic of Iran because. <coughs> <coughs> that's uh, the, the thing that Iran is doing in defending its right, as a matter of fact, is the defense of all member states of the uh, non-proliferation treaty and those who want to have peaceful nuclear activity. Nonetheless, the sanctions uh, that are already in place and those threatened uh, are hurting the uh, Iranian people. What happens to move these? Uh, what needs to happen to move these talks along to a successful conclusion? Will the Iranian government is it prepared to move first by dismantling part of its nuclear program in exchange for the lifting of sanctions, or is it necessary for the international community to put something uh, of interest to the Iranian government on the table first? What they said and announced and the measures they took, as they said themselves, uh, in the last nine months, uh, they said that they are seeking uh, uh, nerve-breaking sanctions against Iranian people. They were saying, and they have repeatedly said so, that what we have done whatever is in our uh, power and capability, and they did so. Therefore, today they have realized themselves that the path they already took is not responsive and it, it doesn't work. Uh, in the last few months, the achievements Iran had uh, in terms of economic are huge. Uh, the support of Iranian people in less than 20 days, in the anniversary of the 20 of the, the 34th anniversary of Islamic Revolution, it showed and demonstrated that they are seriously and powerfully supporting the the system of Islamic Republic of Iran and their own. Nuclear activities. Maybe the, these 
were the elements that make the 5 plus 1 in order to provide more realistic uh, proposal. Certainly, if they want to gain the confidence of Iranians, they should move toward taking steps, that those steps are indications of not being aggressive and, and uh, uh, being enemies or anonymities of two large Iranians. Dr. Jalili, two, two more questions, if I, if I may, sir. Uh, did you have any direct bilateral negotiations with the United States? And uh, I want to get your thoughts on uh, the Israeli threat to conduct uh, military strikes on your country's nuclear facilities should these talks fail. Well, we didn't, we didn't have direct talks with the Americans. But regarding the second point, you know that today the Zionist regime is in its weakest possible time. All the evidence during the last few years show that any kind of military strike or action they took, whether it's a 33 days war, 20 second, 22 days or 8 days war, the results was in a way that it somehow disappointed the Zionist regime. All right, so we'll have to leave it there. Many thanks indeed for being with us. Uh, Saeed Jalili, Iran's chief nuclear negotiator, speaking there after those talks uh, broke up in uh, Almaty, Kazakhstan. Another round of talks due to take place in Istanbul.